You could be forgiven for thinking that Mod Nation Races is the equivalent to Mario Kart on the Nintendo Wii. However, after spending a bit of quality time with it, you realise that it offers so much more. On your screens now is a typical Mod Nation Races race. Three laps around the well-designed course that is filled with jumps, weapons and boost pads. Although the racing may not do much for hardcore GT5 fans, it accommodates a wide audience, young and old alike. The drifting is fun and satisfying, and the weapons pack a considerable punch if you use them correctly. You can knock other drivers off the road by sideswiping them, and you can also use your boost as a shield to protect yourself from deadly oncoming attacks. Where Mod Nation Racers really stands out though is in the creation department. You can create a mod, cart or track and the tools at your disposal to do so are absolutely staggering. You can place layer upon layer of stickers on your mod or you can simply create an oval track next to the seaside. Mod Nation Racers accommodates everyone and that is something we rarely see in video gaming these days. So. Whilst you are watching the process of creating a mod, I'll briefly run through the negatives. The loading times are a pain, but United Front Games have said that they are planning on patching this sometime in the near future. The only other negative is the way that the AI drivers tend to blow you up just before you cross the finish line, and when some challenges depend on you coming first, this can be a real irritant. All that aside though, and Mod Nation Races is a game that deserves to be experienced by everyone and can be picked up from your local gaming retailer now. Typical Red Dead Redemption scene. Conman tries to persuade members of a gang to buy his product. John Marston pops up and kills the gang, whilst the madman who talks to dead bodies dances and looks on. Okay, so it's not really a typical scene, but it does provide an insight as to the atmosphere and setting that Rockstar have somehow managed to create. I genuinely cannot remember getting into a game as much as I have Red Dead Redemption and the following are the reasons why. Firstly, the story. You play as John Marston, a former gang member gone good but brought back into the fray after several developments that make Marston look for revenge. Saying any more would spoil things, but prepare yourself for a thrill ride and cutscenes that constantly make you laugh. Secondly, the gameplay. Although the environments do become a bit barren at times, Towns and gang settlements are hives of activity which often throw up a mission or two. The missions are fun and well executed, but some do begin to grate due to a repetitive nature. Missions aren't the only thing you can tackle either. Throughout the world you will find people who challenge you to jewels and flower picking contests. You can also take part in a variety of mini games such as Five Finger Fillet and Poker. The largest aspect of the gameplay though, is the shooting feature called Deadeye. This allows you to momentarily slow down time and pick your shots with precision. When you have chosen your shooting areas, time speeds back up and you are usually rewarded with your enemy going down like a sack of spuds. Any negatives? Like I said before, environments can get slightly desolate and some missions do begin to grate, but none of these things detriment from the whole experience. Red Dead Redemption's world is so well crafted and the story of Marston so gripping that you can forgive these minor flaws and enjoy the game for what it is, an outstanding and compelling adventure. Welcome to the final word, the only bit of the show that isn't scripted. I could potentially say anything, but I'll try to keep a lid on things as best I can. Uh, so, uh, did you enjoy the first episode of Start Game Episodes? Apologies if the highlights were slightly out of date, and I would have done an E3 thing if I had the time, but there is always next episode, isn't there? Um, consider this episode to be a beta, like, say, home. 
Although this beta doesn't include men running around pretending to be women and the purchasing of virtual furniture, it does include me rambling on about the latest gaming stuff, which no one deserves to miss. Um, this time around, we've taken a look at Mod Nation Races, Red Dead Redemption, and the latest articles to hit Start Game over the past few weeks. Um, like I said, consider this episode to be a beta, because things are going to get much, much better. Um, anyway, I think I'm due a rest in a nice, comfy bed, and I'll leave you with something Hideo Kojima wrote on his Twitter feed the other day. He said that if he were a cherry blossom, he'd fully bloom, and then readily and gracefully fall from the tree. I'll let you make your own mind up as to what that means, but from me, I'll see you soon. Hey, Liquid Shadow, can I get some sleep now? What do you mean I still need to write?